Welcome to Studio Lajo Cree. Larry Creek here to talk about arriving in Japan as part of our five minute series, Travel by Train in Japan. Most people arrive in Japan at one of three airports Tokyo's Narita, code NRT, Tokyo's Haneda, HND, or Osaka's Kansai, KIX. If you arrive in Japan at Narita Airport, you'll be about 35 miles from the center of Tokyo. You'll have two services to choose from, JR East's NEX, Narita Express, and regional company Keisei Skyliner. Both provide excellent service. JR East's is somewhat slower, but takes you to several downtown Tokyo stations, as well as Yokohama, south of Tokyo itself. Keisei Skyliner is more direct and runs faster. I clocked it at 100 mph in the countryside, but it only goes as far into Tokyo as Ueno in the northeast corner, where most people will want to transfer to a Shinkansen, or Tokyo's Yamanote Beltway line. If you purchased a Japan Rail Pass, it's valid on Narita Express, but not the Keisei Skyliner. However, you won't have an actual pass until you exchange the voucher you receive at home in the mail for the pass itself, a booklet you'll carry with you in Japan and present every time you enter or leave a station. So when you get off the airplane, here's the procedure. You'll go through immigration and get a little card fastened to a page in your passport. This will be removed when you leave the country. Pick up your bags and go through customs. Welcome to Japan. A couple of other practical things I do immediately. Get some cash at an ATM. 10,000 yen, about $100, will be a good start. Remember, you can use a credit card for your major purchase. I also get a Japanese SIM card for my mobile phone, which allows me either to send and receive data or for a more extended visit to have full phone service. Data service is very important if you're used to using your phone to get email, text messages, or map directions, since roaming fees tend to be very expensive. But your phone's plan has to be unlocked from your service provider. Otherwise, you'll need to rent a Japanese phone or pay high roaming charges. ATMs and phone shops are all available on the same floor where you emerge from customs and immigration. Your next stop will be the JR East Service Center, either in Terminal 1 or Joint Terminal 2 and 3 centers. These are one level down, open from 8.15 in the morning to 6 or 7 in the evening. Here you can do two or three important things. First, exchange your rail pass voucher for the real thing. Second, make reservations for the long distance travel you've planned. You can do this later if you're tired and don't have a fixed itinerary. The advantage of doing it at the airport is that the railway agents there all speak English. That's not true of all agents at all other major stations, though there are usually one or two at the bigger stations in Tokyo, Osaka, and the major cities around the country. Reservations are helpful on all express trains. Most have cars where reservations are necessary and others where there's open seating. But if you have a green class pass, you must make a reservation since open seating is available only in ordinary class. The reservation will get you an assigned seat, and if you ask for a window or aisle seat, the reservations clerk will try to find you one. And best of all, in Japan, reservations are free, unlike European trains. The third thing you can do at the airport is purchase a railway smart card. At Narita or Haneda, this will be a JR East Suica card, which I talked about in a previous video. It'll be very helpful for getting around Tokyo or other big cities on subways and other non-JR trains. One important thing to know about smart cards. You can make your initial purchase with your credit card, but to recharge the card, only cash can be used. You can recharge cards at almost all automatic ticket machines in stations. These offer a choice of Japanese and English, or in some cases, Chinese, Korean, and other languages as well. If you land at Haneda, Tokyo's other major airport, you'll be right at the city's edge. The JR East service center there is also on a lower level, and you can exchange your voucher for a Japan Rail Pass, make reservations, and buy a Suica card just like Narita. 
To get into the city from Haneda, you have a choice between KQ Railway's local and regional service and the Tokyo Monorail. Your rail pass is not valid on either one of these, so you'll need small amounts of cash, 200 yen, think $2, for the monorail ride, or a Suica card. Both companies accept Suica and the monorail encourages it by charging you only 195 yen if you tap your card. A similar situation holds true at Osaka's Kansai Airport, built on an island in Osaka Bay. Service is offered by JR West and by Nankai Railway. With your rail pass, you can ride this nice JR train, or by using your JR West Ikoka card, you can ride Nankai's unique Rapid, otherwise known as the Darth Vader train. Nankai is capitalized on that association and has a joint advertising deal with the Star Wars outfit. Well, I hope that'll see you out of the airport and onto the rail system in Japan. Next in the series, we'll look at some Japanese stations and the trains serving them. See you soon.